The winter sky is heralded by a celestial chariot. The constellation Auriga is the charioteer. It is adorned by the brilliant star Capella, the sixth brightest in the nighttime sky, only just barely less bright than Arcturus and Vega. Capella is the first star to rise of the famous Winter Hexagon, an immense formation of many of the sky's very brightest stars, which is prominent in the early evening during winter. The star Capella is often said to represent Amalthea. The titan Kronos was eating his own children to prevent them from usurping him. His wife Rhea hid their sixth child, Zeus, for the baby's protection. Zeus was raised by a goat named Amalthea, and grew to be strong enough to rescue his siblings from the titan's stomach. Auriga is sometimes associated with Belepharon. Belepharon was falsely accused of a crime, and as punishment he was sent to hunt the Chimera, a monstrous, fire-breathing, flying creature, an offspring of Typhon, with the body of a goat, the head of a lion, and a venomous snake for a tail. Belephron would need the aid of the winged horse Pegasus to combat Chimera. Fortunately, like many monster hunters, Belephron had the favor of the gods. Athena came to him in a dream, told him how to find Pegasus, and left a golden bridle to place on the steed. Belephron flew Pegasus to Chimera, carrying a long spear. He got an idea. Nearby, he found a block of lead. He attached the block to the end of his spear. He flew at Chimera and managed to lodge the metal in the monster's throat. Chimera's fiery breath melted the lead, which then choked the beast. But Belephron grew overly proud of his achievement. He decided that, as the slayer of Chimera, he was fit to live with the gods. He flew Pegasus up towards Olympus. But Zeus would not tolerate such hubris. Zeus sent a gadfly to sting Pegasus. The startled horse threw Belephron off, and the hero fell to his death. Even so, Zeus respected Belephron's accomplishment, and so he put him into the sky. More often, Ariga represents Erichthonius. Erichthonius was a foster son of Athena, and became king of Athens. He taught the Athenians how to work silver, and how to yoke beasts to pull chariots and plows. Zeus was so impressed with his skill that he memorialized Erichthonius in the sky, driving one of the four horse chariots that he had invented. <laughs>